The White House still has a briefing room, but President Trump is denied his most beloved communications tool. Twitter permanently suspended the president's personal account Friday night, keeping him from reaching out directly to his 88.7 million followers in the wake of last week's Capitol siege. Now, the move came after Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram banned the 45th president from their services. So here with more on the Trump social media ban is Kurt Wagner, a Bloomberg News technology reporter who covers Facebook, Twitter and Snapchat. Kurt, great to speak with you. All three of those companies have removed the president from their platforms. What is their stated rationale for acting now when the damage has already been done? Well, Facebook, uh, for example, has for a really long time used the line uh, real world harm as kind of being when they take action against someone or something on the service. And so most of the time when people break the rules, they do so in a way that is it's hard to prove that it's causing damage out in society. Right. But what we saw on Wednesday was a very clear uh, example of the president's voice and his posts and his actions leading to something that caused real world harm. And so I think when you look at what these companies do, I think that to them was was definitely a, a clear step over the line. And I also think you have to realize that once one of these companies is willing to make that decision, it provides a little bit of cover yeah. for these other companies to kind of jump in as well. Right. And I think we can't ignore that. That's a great point. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.